In our top story tonight, a perpetra uh, perpetrator priest lawsuit against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Lafayette accuses the diocese of neglecting their duty to protect children from predatory priests. News 10's Dawson D'Amico spoke with the survivors network of people allegedly abused by priests. A new lawsuit has been filed against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Lafayette following an alleged victim of the infamous former priest, Gilbert Gauthier, coming forward accusing the diocese of negligence. Uh, we want to applaud this brave man for once again uh, putting Father Gauthier's name in the limelight. He too, like these other priests, he too is still alive and could still, could still be a threat to kids. The accusations against the diocese states they were or should have been aware of the risks in allowing Father Gauthé to remain a priest in the church and having access to children. The plaintiffs claim the diocese and St. Mary Magdalene Church in Abbeville pressured the victim's family to remain silent about the abuse. Members of the Survivors Network of those abused by priests agree the diocese has a history of covering up abuse or names off the list of abusers, something they say has gone on for far too long. Uh, so this is the kind of tactics that our diocese is using against victims of their priests. It is inexcusable. Uh, the Diocese of Lafayette is in fact morally bankrupt. It goes against everything that Jesus Christ taught which they supposedly represent. If you genuinely want to protect kids and genuinely want to help victims, you will put the names of every proven, admitted, incredibly accused predator priest on your website. SNAP urges anyone who has experienced or suspect abuse to speak up to help not only yourself heal, but prevent further abuse. Please find the strength and courage to tell someone that you trust. Don't try to deal with this uh, by keeping it inside. We have reached out to the diocese for a statement, but nothing was provided as of news time. In Lafayette, Dawson D'Amico, KLFY, News 10.